Hi guys, welcome to History for Heroes. Today we will start to study one of the most horrible events that has happened in human history, the World War II. First step, vocabulary. Please write down on your notebook all the words you don't understand and translate it. Write down the translation into Spanish. Learn these words in order to understand fully this new unit. Causes of World War II. In 1939, a new conflict started between Germany and Great Britain and France. It was a world war because it was fought not only in Europe but in other parts of the world. Sides were formed up by Germany, Italy, and Japan. They were the leaders of the Axis powers, and other countries joined them. And Britain, France, and Russia. They were the leaders of the Allied Powers, and other countries joined them. United States, Canada, Australia, among the most important ones. Only 20 years had happened before the previous war finished. The First World War was a proof of suffering, horrible suffering. And now, less than 20 years later, a new one was started. Why? How did it happen? Had everybody become crazy? Let's see the causes. The first cause was the impact of World War I. For the Germans, the first responsible ones of the war, everything was a consequence of World War I. Conditions imposed to Germany by the winners after the First World War were too hard and humiliating. In addition, the German and Austrian economy was damaged due to the war reparations and the loss of territories after the First World War. Another cause was the rise of extremist ideological movements, such as fascism or nationalism. It was the result of fear that an eventual communist revolution, such as the Russian Revolution, could start. So people in several countries of Europe feared the danger of an imminent Bolshevik revolution. Because of that, they started supporting these new parties, these new fascist Nazi parties. They believed it was the only way to fight against this potential Bolshevik revolution. Germany under Hitler developed a rearmament program, as though it was completely forbidden by the Versailles Treaty, and an expansionist policy. We will see the annexation of the Sudetenland, Czechoslovakia, the militarization of the Rhineland, and Britain and France didn't react against these measures taken by Hitler and the League of Nations was completely ineffective. Nobody stopped the aggressive foreign German policy. The economic crisis that started in the United States affected Europe and, of course, Germany. Germany suffered its consequences, and people considered the communists or the Nazis as the best solution for the economic problems of the country. So these extremist ideologies were supported by thousands of people. Germany and Italy started an expansionist policy. It was usual at the time, because, for example, England, Britain, or France, they had large colonial empires. Russia had all the northern Asia. Uh, United States controlled, not politically, or perhaps not military, but economically, United States controlled Central and South America. And Japan, too, because of its lack of resources, started an expansionist policy in Southeast Asia. This Japanese, German and Italian expansionist policy led to several actions. Japan invaded Manchuria in 1931 and started a war against China in 1937. Italy invaded Ethiopia in 1935. And Germany under Hitler's rule since 1933, started a policy to unify all territories with German speakers. That means parts of Czechoslovakia, parts of Poland, and the entire Austria. Actually, the British and French prime ministers were developing a policy of appeasement. They were aware of the suffering the First World War had caused, and they tried any way to prevent a new war. So they accepted Hitler's demands, hoping he would be satisfied. They thought, if we give Mr. Hitler what he wants, he will stop asking for more, and he will stop his aggressive policy. 
Hitler taking advantage of this French and British policy of appeasement made several movements. In March 1938, he sent troops to Austria to protect Nazi Austrians who wanted to be part of Germany. It was the Anschluss and Germany annexed Austria. In September 1938, Hitler claimed the right of German speakers in Czechoslovakia to be part of Germany and designed a plan to invade Czechoslovakia. Britain and France tried to avoid war and signed an agreement, the Munich Agreement. This agreement was signed with Germany and Italy. Czechoslovakia was forced to cede German-speaking territories to Germany or to resist military against the German army, but alone, without French or British support. Finally, Czechoslovakia ceded the Sudetenland region. Before leaving Munich, the Prime Minister of Britain, Neville Chamberlain and Hitler, signed a paper declaring their mutual desire to resolve differences through consultations to assure peace. Representatives of France and Britain, Daladier and Chamberlain, returned home relieved that the threat of war had passed. Chamberlain told the British public that he had achieved peace with honor. I believe it is peace for our time. His words were immediately challenged by his greatest critic, Winston Churchill, who declared, You were given the choice between war and dishonor. You chose dishonor, and you will have war. In March 1939, Hitler occupied the rest of Czechoslovakia, although France had signed a treaty to protect the country. The last of Hitler's movements was the claiming of territories that Germany had lost to Poland after World War I. Germany also rejected the Danzig Corridor because it divided the German territory in two parts. Britain and France had signed a document, a treaty, to defend Poland against German aspiration. Hitler thought he could fight an eventual war against Britain and France, but not against these two countries plus Russia. Therefore, he signed a secret pact the Nazi-Soviet Non-Aggression Pact. According to this pact, Russia would not defend Poland against the Germans after the German invasion, and they would divide Poland between the two countries. Germany would also allow the Soviet control of Finland and Baltic states. Once this pact was signed between Hitler and Stalin, Hitler resumed his demanding on the Danzig Corridor. Poland, of course, refused, and Germany started the invasion. At that moment, France and Britain declared war on Germany. So, on 1st September 1939, World War II started.